Hello friends, welcome to another video. <clears throat> in today's video, we are going to look into how all accept and the values function uh, works together and help us to get the, to achieve a result. This video is again based on a post by user on the Power BI community forum. And uh, luckily he tagged me in that post and reached out to me and then uh, I looked into and solved it, uh, looking at uh, using all accept and values functions. So let's first look at the problem. It's very well explained. It was easy to follow what user trying to achieve. And then uh, there was the solution for that. So, okay, so here is the problem statement. So user has a product table, I think uh, item table where you have category, subcategory, item line and item. So what user is looking for when user select an item on a slicer, let's say 1001 is selected, then check out what is the line item for that particular item, like in this case A1 and then sum all the A1 uh, line items um, uh, give the quantity for the sum. So, and uh, for example, in this case, user says uh, the item, if you selected 1001, so these are the four items which belongs to A1 and then that will be the total, which is 65. And similarly, the user said if you select 1008, so now that 1008 belongs to B1 item line and then look into all the B1 um, items and give the sum of all those items. In this case, these are the four items and uh, this is whatever the total turns out to be. Similarly, what user want is if we select a item uh, in the slicer 1001 and he want the, uh, the category for, to which that item belongs to sum all quantities for that particular category. So in this case, 1001 belongs to category A then look for all the products items which have category A and then give the sum quantity of that. So similarly, he explained here uh, what those items are and the total should be 150. And similarly, he said if you select 1009, then some quantity of uh, category B. Uh, and this is what the total look like. And uh, uh, the Maya should also change based on the date or any other, other slicer we have in the report. So we will look into that as well. And one thing user uh, not mentioned in the statement, but later on when the communication went back and forth, there was one small addition the user mentioned in that as well. So I will explain what that uh, as well when I solve the problem. So let's look into Power BI file and uh, try to uh, solve it using all accept and the values functions. Let's get to Power BI. Okay, so here we have uh, this, um, uh, I put this table together like showing the uh, total by category and also by it, uh, line item or item line and also at the item, item line and category and some quantity and then this is a slicer as an item. We will solve this using two techniques, uh, all accept and the remove filters and we will uh, look into that how those two things works together. So let's first uh, 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 start writing a measure here. So basically what we need to do is uh, before I go into uh, writing a measure, previously I solved this using a disconnected table. But in this particular case, we have a, a, a you know, as a preferred uh, schema, which is we have a fact table and then everything coming from the dimension table. So this is always a good. And uh, this is what we're going to use as in a star schema. Of course, this is a only one dimension, one fact. But theoretically, it is a, it's a star schema. So... Let's start writing a measure uh, before uh, I have a measure called some quantity, which is the basic uh, measure. So let's uh, let's first start writing. I'm going to remove category here. Let's first work on the item line um, uh, only. So pretty much the same functionality will work for the uh, category as well. So let's uh, write a new measure here. And what that measure is going to do is uh, let's first, so now we have A1 um, selected as 65 and category A is 140. That's what the sum is. I'm going to make this slicer edit interaction turn off so that we can see the result, what the results are in these two tables to compare with the result of our measure. So let me go to that format, edit interaction. So we don't want this thing to get filtered and this thing to get filtered. Okay. Let's turn that back off. All right. So now let's start writing a measure. So we will write the measure with two ways. 
all accept and the remove filters. So let's see uh, how does those work. So let's see, I, we call it item line total. And the first with the all accept. So what we're going to do is calculate. We have some quantity. So why we want to use all accept is we say, okay, you know, give us all the product from dim which is a dim table and filter it on item line so any other filter coming on to the dimension table just remove that and just keep the filter on the item line and now if we use this item line total measure here oh sorry this is already there let me call a new item line total I think I was testing a few things before and let's uh, bring that new item line total here okay so here what we're getting is we're getting 65 so let's slice on a product 1001 so this is working fine so as we can see a1 has 65 so 1001 item belongs to item line a1 and we are getting the quantity 61 so this is this is working as expected and let's look into the remove filter method as well just to uh, compare these two things together. So I'm going to call that line item total remove filter RF. So what we're going to do here is we are going to remove the filter. Currently it has been filtered by item as in a slicer. So we can remove the filter of dim item and we should get the same result as 65 so all right so that's 65 again so these two uh, using uh, all accept and remove filters gave us the same result now here is the challenge which user did not mention in his uh, description user does not want to see the item uh, line as part of the visual just want to see the item in here so let's if we remove item line what happens here you go it fails at that point in time because uh, there is a no row context there's no contact transaction transition happening from row context to the um, uh, to the filter contact so the reason behind that once we removed once we had the item line in here it is filtering because of the row context uh, transition to the filter context and that is filtering for that particular item line as part because it's getting from the row since we removed the item line from the row now we are getting the total of everything because we are removing the filter on dim item it means that's the total sum of all the um, quantities which is 855 as we can see at the total similar with the all accept function uh, because we said we want it on the uh, uh, give everything from the dim table and just keep the filter on the item line since there's no item line in here that's why it removed the filter and then we are getting the 855 so what is the solution for that if we need to do that so what we need to do here is so this is giving us the, if we if we don't want the item line in here this is removing the filter on the uh, dim uh, on everything and keeping just on the dim item line. So what we need to do here is we say, okay, apply the filter back, um, uh, the uh, item line filter back on the on our measure. So let's see, this number should change now, back to sixty five. So what what is happening here is because since we are um, selected product item 1001 and 1001 belongs to a1 so this values function is giving us a table which is a1 uh, item line and then it is filtering our uh, dim table on a1 so and that's why we're getting the 85 uh, 65 and let's say if we go back to the same on dim item so we remove the filter on, on dim item uh, whatever the filter we selected so right now the the dim table is returning everything every product and then we will apply the filter back and then the values is going to give us uh, a1 based uh, or uh, item line based on the selected product so what we're going to do is item line 
and here you go so that would be uh, 65 again so this now we don't need to put the item line in the table visual but it is part of the Meyer what we have created and similarly if we need to create for the item category and we can um, instead of values item line uh, we can um, use values uh, dim category and let's say if I change this uh, remove filter one and change it to a dim category and this total will be so I we know item 1001 belongs to category A so that is what 140 we are getting so this is what the total 140 if you go to 1009 that belongs to category B and now we are getting 385 now the question come you want to use all accept or the remove filters um, this is again a, a you know both functions are uh, okay but depending what you want because if you have another slicer on your dimension table if you use the all accept those uh, those filter will also get removed but if you are using only remove filter um, uh, function so it will remove whatever is on the dim item you have selected but it will keep other filters as it is let's say if we have a a color in our uh, dimension table and we just want a slicer on the color we don't want we want that slicer to be applied as it is then the remove filter will work best in that scenario so but if you want like any other slicers coming out on the dim, dim table remove all those slicers then you can uh, use the all accept or you can also use dim item here as if i remove not on the slice remove filter from uh, the full dim table so that will also uh, now work because we are moving everything and apply the filter back on um, uh, category. So th still 385. Uh, it, it, this is like to understanding, uh, you know, you are removing the filter and then adding back the filter depending on what you want to do. Um, but with small all accept or remove filters and with the values you apply the filter back, um, then you can get the result. And if, if we don't use values in here uh, as part of our measure, then we need to use item line or category column in the table visual uh, so that that uh, row context then transition to the filter context and then it works. But if we don't want item line or category in the table visual, but only based on the selected product, we want to sum the all product belongs to that category or belongs to that line item, then we have to uh, uh, update or change our measure using the values basically applying the filter back on on the measure um, so let me know what you guys think maybe you learned a few things here and there out of this video and um, looking forward for your feedback uh, once again thanks for watching do subscribe my channel until next video have a good day thank you thanks for watching bye for now